TGC Requiem um, back here with games two and three. Is this match to go to three? Um, for Black Green Effect versus Grixis Control. Somehow I lost the recording during the middle. Uh, right after game one, I must have bumped a button. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a replay of game two and three for you here. And just kind of go through what my thought process was. So we're going to get into the first hand. Um, oops. So I liked this because we had double crusader and carrying call in case the game went long. As it worked out, he ended up thought seizing or inquisitioning and then thought seizing my other Phyrexian crusader. He was playing to Blood Moon, or it looked like he was playing to Blood Moon, so I was fetching for basics. Got him for three before he flipped his Jace. Tossed to Blood Moon, so it looked like we had played around that wisely. And then we basically just get kind of slowly ground out here. So he takes this down, he's going to kill it actually when we go to attack this next turn. I hold up mana for Carrion Call because I couldn't do anything here. Vines would have protected, but it was a sacrifice. But he ends up flashing back Thought Seize, at which point I carry and call, and he dispels, um, which is a bit of a bummer. Almost certainly what he would have taken, though. Uh, then we land the Nexus. And he Serum Visions, holds up Kolagon's command, I'm kind of prepared for it, we attack, he tries to Kolagon's command, we Vines of Asswood to protect it, but we don't do it until end step. We didn't do it there because we knew we had to be second, we had to be responsive to him, and so that's what we did. And then he drops uh, Pia and Kirin, which slows things down. I end up pulling a Might of Old Krosa here, which I use in combat just to get rid of a token, ideally trying to get rid of his ability to use Pian Kira's second ability, which is to throw an artifact. Then the Liliana comes out, we lose the Glistener Elf. Suddenly things become a bit untenable, <laughs> and we slowly get ground out here. Um, I know this is all happening pretty fast, so we'll go right here, we had, oops, so we played this Nihil Spell Bomb, we went for the Nihil Spell Bomb, um, just because if we got a pump, maybe we could have gotten something in here. The biggest concern was if he has Kolagon's command, he gets a two for one, um, and the other thought was if Liliana, if we allow Liliana to stay there, He's going to sacrifice one of my creatures, um, which is a problem. So what I went for here, we also know he could hurl Pia and Kirin at one of my two um, creatures. So when I what I had done was Nihil Spellbound, hoping to get a pump spell, but I drew the Misty Rainforest instead. Um, so we go to combat. He does, in fact, have the Kolagon's Command. And then he just beats us down, basically, from here. It's possible a few turns back I should have just gone for the Dryad Arbor, but I'm not really terribly confident that would have been the right call anyway. Made a mistake there, should have played the Overgrown Tomb. And then he just hurls the Thopter at the end of the game, or end of my turn. So that was game two. Unfortunately we don't get any of the sideboarding here, but game three...
Um, we're going to do this one a little slower. So I liked the opening hand. Um, hope was to get a noble hierarch into a turn two Phyrexian Crusader, uh, basically trying to beat Inquisition or Thoughtseize. Um, I also, unfortunately, again, we lost the sideboarding. I, I played for a grindier match on the draw, um, and I tried to make the deck a little faster coming back into this third game on the play. So I brought back in all the Might of Old Crosas and uh, Ground Swells, etc. So anyway, so we turn one, ran Misty into an Overgrown Tomb. And then cast Noble Hierarch. And then we'll go to him. I think he started off with a Sir. Or, yeah, that's right. Engineered Explosives on one, which was pretty great because that meant we could get Phyrexian Crusader down. And we were pretty hopeful that he did not have any sort of black removal coming up, um, like this member. He throws down an island, pops the engineered explosives, and Crosa Crosa for the turn three win. opponent conceded, I believe. Alright, let me do the damage. So that was how we won game three to go four and one in this league. Um, so definitely always feel, <laughs> always feels good to uh, to do better. But I was basically noting that I liked the build that I played this league versus the last league, the last league that I played. Um, I really tried to go all in on the the fast infect kills with black green. I think blue's better at that if that's what you're trying to do. Um, definitely preferred the more interactive build that, or slightly more interactive build that I put together this time. It worked out well. Drew some key cards at key times, uh, Brup Decay specifically um, in the main board. So um, I definitely also like Gitaxian Probe as a main deck card for this build. Even though you're mostly paying two life for it, you occasionally can cast it off of a Noble Hierarch, and it does help tighten your deck down to 56 cards, if you will, which um, gives you a better shot of getting that early infect kill, especially game one. So that's why I definitely am running the four Gitaxian Probes over Inquisition, but I think Phyrexian Crusader is still strong enough to make me want to play the black version over the blue version of Infect. And that's where we are as of now. Um, so 2-1 in the match against Crixus Control, and then 4-1 um, in the league this time. Thanks for watching.